in this life tunahitaji watu kama huyu content creator anaitwa Janeko huyu Watu wengi mmeenda kwa comment section yake DM yake mkamwatak mkamtusi mkamwambia mambo mabaya but in this today's life tunahitaji mtu kama huyu mtu mwenye ajui kushuga coat na mtu ajui kufilter ukweli venye iko this is the only lady ama the only person mwenye amesaidia Brian Chira ama mwenye alijaribu kusaidia Brian Chira wengi wenu mnajifanya hapa na unafiki zenu wao tulisaidia Chira mlimsaidia aje Chira alikuwa very straight alikuwa mtu straight akisema ki, alikuwa anasema vitu venye ziko alikuja akaambia some of you niko depressed eh, niko addicted na pombe niko na child trauma akamwambia mashida zake but mlifanya aje mliingia life mkachanga pesa mkamupatia aende akunywe pombe zaidi mtu mwenye ako na depression ukimpea pesa ya bure inakwanga ni kama umemwongezea depression times 10 Mtu mwenye ako addicted na pombe ukimpatia pesa ya bure ni kama kumuua na hiyo pombe juu atenda kunywa pombe zaidi. Instead of musaidia mtu juu ako addicted mupeleke hata rehab, hii addiction kwanza iishe, mlikuwa mnaingia life mnamchangia pesa ya bure aende akunywe zaidi. Na nao mko hapa kujingoka kifuatio, alikuwa kama brother yangu tumemsaidia sana sijui nini wanafiki nyinyi. Nyinyi ni wanafiki. Hm? We mwenye unasema sijui ulimsaidia, we brotherko ama mtoto wako akiwa na, na addiction ya kitu utampatia pesa ya bure ni wapi mlisikia depression ama addiction inaponywa na pesa eh kwa hii life unahitaji mtu akukwambie ukweli venye iko bila kufilter mtu anakupea advice yenye utasimama hivi ulie lakini amekusaidia mtu mwenye atakwambia kitu yenye itakusaidia for long mtu mwenye anakupatia permanent advice ama permanent solution Si mtu mwenye anakuja hapa anakuchangia pesa. Hati niko na depression, mnampea pesa. Some of you mnajiita msijui marafiki ama mabrother zake eh, Brian Chira. Jana mulienda mochari mkafanya nini marafiki? Mabrother, mulienda kufanya nini? Hmm? Muko tu mnajingonga kifua wanafiki nyinyi. Ationi brother yangu mulienda mochari mkampiga picha. Mlikuwa mnapiga picha ya nini? Mtu uko na akili zako timamu unaingia mochari unapiga mtu picha akiwa in that situation na unashata bila kufilter hata bila kuweka kaimoji mahali na mkapa ationi brother yangu sijui nini sijui wengi wenu mnaingia life kulia atio tap tap the screen aki guys tiktok tunaomboleza wa Kenya mnaomba gift muna seek sympathy na jina Brian Chira mkijitanga alikuwa brother yangu sijui nini wacheni unafiki wacheni unafiki If Chira angesikiza and if I na huyu mama, sai Chira angekuwa poa. Cuz trust you me, u mama alipea Chira and vice kama mtoto wake. Alimpatia and vice ya ukweli ya ukweli na yenye najua hata last moment zake Chira alikumbuka hiyo and vice. Hmm? Lakini mko hapa na unafiki. Hamuna haya mkisema ati Chira, Chira hana filter, Chira tumeona kwa mochari si Chira mwenye tunajua wanafiki ma pretenders. Mnaenda hadi kwa mochari kuconfirm kama mtu ako na filters. Shame on you. Arakisheni kushona manguo, kuhaya magari baridi baridi mujaze maji uko ndani, mujaze na juice, ma snacks, muende road trip kuzika Chira. Mm, hiyo iishe. Muende muka misbehave, muende mkafanye ma videos, muende meet ups, muende muka fanya tiktok that's what you people do hiyo ndo inakuanga hiyo ndo reality hiyo ndo kitu iko eh so tani kujifanya as if you care so much you don't care imagine you don't care we know that one you don't care you don't care hapo ka sympathy kadogo kadogo mnatafuta hapa na ku pretend pretend wacheni hai inawakalisha vibaya sana mm hati alikuwa kama brother yangu alikuwa kama wewe Atujasahau kwenye comment section ya Chira ina, ilikuwa inakaa hapo kitambo. Sasa atujui saa hii ma brothers imetokea wapi atisijui. Wacheni unafiki. Wacheni unafiki. Chira hakupanda pikipiki. Mm. Yo alipandishwa kwa pikipiki na huyo rafiki yake akakataa kabisa. So aliingia gari. Na hiyo gari ni lift alipewa. So pikipiki angeingia sababu hata hakuwa na pesa, hakuwa na simu. Simu ilichukuliwa na rafiki yake. Na hiyo rafiki yake wakaingia dadi kwa club. So aliingia kwa gari bila simu bila anything. Aliingia tu hivyo venye alikuwa. Aya, ukiona akipandishwa pikipiki alipandishwa pikipiki ngapi before? Akitoka hapa kule naje story ya pikipiki. Alikuwa na alikuwa anapandishwa atake anaekelewa hadi venye unaweza kelea mtu ndo wacha kama amekalia. Tu jamaa mwingine kwenda kulipa yeye na yeye mshirana toka. 
anaenda hadi na hapa hivi mbele ana forward anaenda hivi ana forward sasa venye uliona jo mega leo kwa pigipigi karibu mara tano ah sasa na mtu unataka kwenda zingine tukaachana tu na yeye sasa ndio akakae akaendelea kwa hapa akaendelea kupiga picha na huyu e nini wakati hao kanini kalikuja mama madam hata walikuwa wamesema wapale hivyo sema wapale ikanyongoa wakati inanyongoa wakamuona eh hey, wakasimamisha kumsalimia nini wakamwambia hey, tunaweza kupea ride saa si hapo ndio live venye walikubaliana ya akakubali na akaingia mingi endelea ngapeleka customer wangu hadi roaka saa nikirudi ndio nirudi hapa ndio ingine kwenda nikapata ni jamaa mshie eh hey, kuja kuambia hapa watu <laughs> wananiambia ni zangu zimelipuka mimi nikaachana nao basi nimekaa tu hivi <laughs> basi basi ikapita hapa makanga akatombia kuna mtu amegongo hapo chini na bado nyinyi amjajua simwende muangalie nani anaweza kuwa yenu mmoja wa ndugu nikamwambia watu zilikuwa naambia amegongo na, na ni mshiri sasa ndio tulifika hapo ndio watu wakaamini alinyako gari kama saa ngapi hiyo gari <laughs> e gari unajua hiyo masaa ilikuwa ni around saa tisa juu bado ilikuwa around around hapo hiyo saa tisa Jusa hiyo ndio magari zinaanza nga kuamka na zilikuwa zishaanza kwa zilikuwa saa zimeanza kuamka. After hadi kutoka ndio magari nazo saa zika ndika kaa tano zikaanza kupita kwa barabara. Na tuseme na nini? Ah uh, madem, au madem walikuwa pia kwa club ndani. Walikuwa mtu akupiga sherehe kwa club. Eh walikuwa tu hadi na huku hivi kwa sherehe. Sawa kakuja hapa. Hivi hata wako wamemuona hata sidhani kuna mmoja alikuwa amemspot. Oh hauko anajua hata watu wako me realize that uh, chini hata kwa, kwa club. Hawaku wamejia ah. lai. Sasa ndio wakiwa wana nini hivi wakiwa saa kafta wamevaka wameingia kwa kauba acha saa chira alikuwa malika pale hivyo na saa unaona inakati hapo sasa si wako ile pande e eh, wakampita e eh, mmoja nikaa kamuona akasimamisha sasa so, akakuja ile kumhag nini picha wakaongeaongea naye eh, yakakubali kwenda nao na au 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 mademo alikuwa walikuwa na kaul si mademo naweza sema ni mama ni mama hivi tu saa Nikitu za TV5 eh. Eh, vati kuendelea huyo sauta mtamama. Na rangi walikuwa which which skin? Na kumbuka ku. Mmoja alikuwa mweupe. Mmoja alikuwa mweupe. Sio mwingine alikuwa mdak. Eh, huyo mwingine alikuwa mweusi. Mweupe na mweusi. Ya so guys um This is this were the um, I witness for ground. This is the ndudi guy ambaye alikuwa anafanya kazi ya ndudi that night at Chira Kipas. Na yeye demo alikuwa amekuja pia sherehe na aligotea Chira na akapiga picha na yeye na wali walisikia at least his conversation. Ndetu wa Chira Brian Chira before ununue gari confirm bei ya mafuta. Una confirm bei ya mafuta. Usijizazie parking hapa kwa proti. Ati uko na gari, uko na gari. Kazi ni kwambia tu niko na gari. Confirm bei ya mafuta. Na wendi mahali nayo confirm bay hata kwa kemes tuwezi enda nayo ai confirm bay ya mafuta <laughs> yani wa Kenya uh, forget about the filter za TikTok lakini about the theatre kuna maswali mimi najiuliza sipati majibu kutokana na ile statement imeachiliwa ati kuna majamaa walikuwa kwa ndudhi wakipita wakaona kuna altercation ya in between Chira na the owners of the resort of which Chira alikuwa amelewa sana akasukumu wa nje Okay. So upon that hizo uh, kusukumana na nini nini chira si unajua lazima chira hizi go down hivyo hivyo lazima alikuwa anarusha maneno. So hao watu wakasimama chira mlevi akawaomba lift, wakampatia lift. Yeah? So nyinyi mko wetu mnapita mnapata wasio na argue hapo wewe mnapita alafu mpatie lift. Kweli? Okay. Sawa. To assume hawa ni wasamaritan. Wakapatia wakapatia chira lift. Tuasiyo pia chira ni popular so anaweza kuwa alikuwa anamjua wakampatia lift. Tukuwe na hizo assumption mbili. Okay? So my question is kama ndio for sure hawa so walipatia chira lift kwa roho safi. Ati wakaanza kuenda the wrong side. Tuseme pia hao ni wasandudhi tabia yao mbaya alikuwa anaenda wrong side usiku. Another question is this So over sudden chira ati wakasimama over sudden chira katoroka akienda kwa major road. So swali yangu ni chira mwenye aliomba lift. What was happening chira akaanza kutoroka. Who or what was chira running from? And why? Lazima chira kuna kitu ilimprovoke ilim akaanza kutoroka. Lakini tena swali lingine ni 
Tangulini walevi wakaanza kutoroka. Wone njogode. Eh? Tangulini walevi wakaanza kutoroka. Ako na nguvu ya kutoroka sana. Ukiangalia sijui kama ameona hiyo picha but you can go to my telegram watch. Kichwa imepasuka vibaya sana but the rest of the body ina kai covid. Una get? Yaani amechapwa kichwa imeachana. This can only be explained by chira kujaribu ku escape ama kujaribu kujitoa kwa watu maybe walikuwa na mpora aka aka fall back na gari kapita na ikapita na yeye. Jua naona gari yenye limgonga type ya gari lakini hawakuwa na number plate. Or somebody just pushed chira somehow. Hizo ngozi zake zinafaa kufanywa forensic tujue. Ni nini liapenia chira? Sidhani kama chira alijirusha kwa gari akapigwa ama alikuwa anatoroka mlevi anatoroka aje. Our my witnesses when walikuwa wamembeba na pikipiki hawa. They have answers, they have questions to answer. Wona fikia je, pin up below to discuss this. Nairobi chira, Brian chira. Ndio nimetoka hospitali. Anyway, people came to my house, mugged me. They took everything and everything. But you know what? I know God has me. Look at my faith. Ni sawa tu. Hai, tutachira kila.